Okay guys, Aaron here and Morgan again. We're gonna do a stage walkthrough. So I'm gonna read it and then we'll film Morgan as he thinks about how he would approach the stage. He shot this one um, a couple weeks ago. And um, so this will be a repeat for him, but it'll be good. Good, good practice. So this is shoot from the tires. Shooter will start port arms behind the tires at the beginning of time. Shooter will engage the coyotes near middle far from each of the three positions on the tires marked red okay there's your stage brief morgan how would you approach shooting this stage so when i walk up i kind of take everything in right i look at the i look at the tires we got the three positions you have to be in between here in between here and in between here and i think they were letting us be right here for the third position so when I look at that, I go, okay, so what gear is going to be good? I know this tire is not real stable, right? I mean, it's a tire in a tire. So it's not going to be they real did, stable. They, they were nice to put a T-post behind it, but still yeah. not stable. Yeah. I mean, so I got two options, really. I can either one bag it, and uh, that could work. I'm sure you could settle it. Or you can run tripod rear. Is essentially the two options I think about, right? So... I immediately am thinking tripod rear because it's, it is 90 seconds and it is three three different targets at, um, so three different target ranges from three different positions. So it's a lot of moving around, but it's doable with a, the with a tripod. I know I'm efficient. So the first thing, I, so I've already done that, take that all that in, listen to the stage brief. I know what's going on. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna check all the ranges and which I've done and the ranges are good. And so, cause I'm going through my, I, I think to myself, dope rifle scope wind. Okay. So, uh, so I'm a part of getting dope is, is, uh, I like to check ranges. That's I, I usually lays every target at the match. And usually I just find out that they're all good. Every now and again, you run into one that's not perfect. And that, that's when, you're just glad you did it. And the other thing is, is it helps confirm that you're out on the right target. Right, and, and knowledge is power, right? Yeah, and the next thing I like to do is while I'm doing that, I'm looking at the targets, I'm going through where they all are, and I'm getting a good landmark. For here, the landmark's easy because there's a big red marker in the middle of it, but also I know where the hill's coming down, there's some sage rust coming to a point. I know that's where the third target is, and then I can see the other three with my naked eye. Or the other two with my naked eye and so that's really what i'm i'm looking for when i walk up here so that i know where to line my rifle up where to line everything up so i know where everything's at so then i'm going to come here in my kestrel i'm going to get a little bit of um i just want to get the wind speed just so i kind of know what to write down on my uh so i'm averaging it here just what I know to run my dope off of. So here we are. We're averaging about five miles an hour, so not bad. Kind of coming from our 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna put all these in real fast so that I got, so I got them all written down. Two seconds. So we got 402. We got 432. And I put them into target card, which just makes it real easy to change my wind speed and anything. If anything changes while we're while we're sitting here waiting, and it makes it real easy to get my dope and and write it down real real fast. So now, after we have. A range is put into target card and I got a rough estimation. I think we're averaging five, five miles an hour on the wind, but could be anywhere from about four to eight miles an hour. So I'm gonna write down my five and an eight mile an hour wind and I'm gonna write my dope down. So I, I'm gonna come in here. I've got my target card here. Um, so I'm 2.0 for the first one, 2.2 for the second one and 2.5 third one. I'm gonna write a seven. And an, or sorry, a five and an eight mile an hour wind down. 
So that's going to be a 0 0.3 and a, it's this 0.45. I can't decide, it, it can't decide if it wants to be 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 on the wind. So basically I have a, of a low wind of about a, maybe a quarter mil to up to a half a mil. So, uh, and these plates are fairly decently. I think the the narrowest one is about eight tenths of meat wide. They're not very tall because they're coyote targets, but I can use that plate to my advantage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my three tenths and my five tenths right in the middle of the plate, and then I'm going to send it. So um, back to, so now I got my dope written down. Now I think rifle, and I'm going to go over here to my rifle, and I'm going to think, okay, what do I got to get ready? I got to get my my uh, the right equipment. So uh, my bipod's on here. Since we're getting here, ready to go to shoot this, I'm going to get my plate bag on there because that's what we're going to use for this stage. So got to plate my plate bag, put that on the spigot, and then then I okay. So I got all my gear ready there. I got my tripod ready. Um, so now I think scope and I'm going to go two mils for the first one. Cause I'm going to get, I'm actually, it's clean holds. Most of the time, if I'm planning on dialing, um, I will still on a stage like this where it could get a little bit sporty on, on whether or not, um, you need to hold or dial. If I'm, if I'm worried about it, I will usually write the holds down as well. Um, but since this is clean, it's 2.2 and a half mil. I'm going to do that and I'm probably going to go ahead and just hold them because um, that's what I did at the match. Um, I actually started out dialing the first the, on the first position and then went, I better ditch that and just go into the holding. Um, I set my parallax. So I go through all my turrets on this. I, I go ele uh, elevation, parallax, a diopter, got a little mark there, and then I go to the right power setting. And I think I might go to 17 on this one just because... I don't want to shoot the wrong target inadvertently because they're kind of close together. And then I make sure that's all good. So dope rifle scope. Now wind, I go back to, since we're going to shoot this right now, I go back to feeling the wind and the wind feels pretty much the same. It might've picked up uh, just a touch, but not bad. We're going to do the middle position um, on this one, just to run us through. Um, so now since now I'm going to come up and I'm going to act like we're starting the stage. I do the same thing over again. I use the same, uh, mnemonic and everything. I think dope rifle scope wins. So, um, I look here, make sure everything's good. Dope's good. Look at the target, find my landmark and my rifle bag is good. Gear here, scope, go back through the turrets. Okay, good. And this is where I open my caps. And then the wind, I probably died just a little bit. Just I'm just trying to make note in my mind. And then the mag. And then the RL says I can put mag in. And I go ahead and slip that in there. And then when he says I'm ready to go, then we go. Impact. 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 Yeah. So there you go. That's um, how I'd run that position. If you notice, I like, you're always kind of tweaking that that uh, tripod to get your natural point of aim where it needs to be, but that's uh, pretty simple. And then I always write when I'm done before I usually leave the position, um, I will close the caps, zero the turret. And uh, that's just the way I do it. Doesn't mean that's the way you guys gotta do it, but, but that's exactly how I would prepare for pretty much any stage out there. I'm gonna go through the same process. And then since I'm, I like to talk and I like to carry on and have a good time, but if I go through that process, on every stage, it makes it to where 
as long as I go through that, then I can go talk, have fun, do my thing. Then you're ready to go. Yeah, but I'm still ready. ready to go, and it keeps me on track. And a lot of people ask me, how do, how do I stay? How do you stay focused? Do that. And it's really just a matter of going through a simple process. And whatever that process is for you, it might be different. But that's that's the what what I do, and I think it's really important to keep it the same every time, you know. And now, right now, if I was done, uh, the next thing I do is I I go put my gun down, whatever, I race my arm board, and I walk straight to my backpack, and I reload my magazine. And I always have a magazine on my hip, and I have a magazine in my pocket, and the magazine in my pocket goes in the gun on the next stage. But I make sure everything's loaded um, and ready to go. So. And that's not only to be squared away. That's also to help the flow of the match. And uh, you guys should consider doing uh, some of these steps just because it helps with the speed of the match. You're never caught unawares. You're always ready. Because sometimes you roll up to the next stage and it's, hey, Morgan, you're up. So oh. as long as the gun's squared away, all you got to do is the first part, right? Check the targets, range the targets, check the wind, and you're good. Because yep. you know your gun's ready to go. Yep. So Okay. Well, we appreciate that one, Morgan. Thank you.